What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Right now we are just on the way to Thorpe Park because tomorrow we are flying to Japan from Heathrow Airport. Heathrow Airport is actually right next to Thorpe Park so we thought it'd be a, a good opportunity to use our Merlin passes and go on, some, go on some rides before we stay at the hotel at Heathrow Airport tonight. Um, and then obviously we fly in the morning so um, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to take you along. We plan to go to Nando's or somewhere similar after Thorpe Park. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the gym and then we're probably going to go to the cinema as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you at Thorpe Park. <laughs> What's that? I think it's the fourth bay after the van. Fourth bay? Yeah. But you're the first bay. Please stand clear. The gates are around both. The rolling of the glasses is about to begin. Please keep your arms inside the train with your feet on the floor and raise your hands. Okay, so first ride of the day done, Colossus, and it's like four o'clock. We've been here for about two hours and we've been on one ride. I'm um, probably gonna go refill the drink and then we'll make our way over to Saw. Although it was a long wait, it was well worth it because Colossus is by far one of my favorite rides here. <laughs> So, our second ride done is probably like half past five now, so we've only got enough time for one more ride. So, we're probably going to head over to Swarm and then that'll be it for the whole day. No. Have you got it? I think so, I like put it. Oh, you have to insert the key card. Second floor. Which way are you going? Do you reckon there's only two floors because we're near the airport and it can't be too high? I wouldn't know. Alright, so we are at the uh, hotel at the airport now. I just checked into the travel lodge, gym bag, travel lodge. rucksack, and um, suitcase. Yeah, it's not travel lodge, it's a uh, premier in, isn't it? Oh. Well, I hope, hope it's a uh, premier in. Quite big, ain't it? That's what she That's said. Big. 
suppose I'll open it. Suppose you will. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Okay, so we just checked into the airport hotel then. Quick look around. Fairly standard if you've ever been to a Premier Inn. Bathroom. Bed. Girlfriend. Mirror. Desk. Window. And coffee station, which we're never, ever, ever, ever going to use. Um, we was going to go somewhere like Nando's to eat. Um, the girlfriend's vegetarian, so it's probably not the best um, option. Um, we actually saw there's a restaurant just downstairs, which would be more convenient for us and would save us a little bit of time. So we may just end up going there. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go there, then go to the cinema, then probably come back and while the girlfriend's getting ready. Um, showering, doing a hair and whatever for tomorrow, I'll probably head to the gym and get a final workout in. <sighs> okay, so just had a quick shower and yes, I did put the same clothes on because the rest are in my suitcase and um, yeah, I don't want to be using my clothes that I need for the next two weeks. So that's the situation with that. We're going to head down now get a table, get some dinner, and then go straight to the nearest cinema. Okay, so we just had um, some dinner then. I had a ribeye steak with some chips and some peas. Uh, girlfriend just had a cheese pizza. Um, we're actually going to go out now just um, a little bit away from the airport because you know that I bought a drone, I bought a Mavic Pro, a DJI Mavic Pro, uh, a DJI Mavic Pro drone um, while I was in New York and I haven't actually um, set it up properly or used it at all um, so I'm going to try and go away um, and get that set up, although it is getting pretty dark, but hopefully um, we can try and learn the basics and whatever so it's ready for when we're in Japan. Um, and then I'm gonna drop the girlfriend back and then I'm gonna go um, onto the gym and get a quick workout in. Let's do it. All right guys, so right now we're about seven miles away from the hotel, um, basically um, to fly a drone you have to be at least five miles away from an airport so we thought it'd be a, a smart move to uh, go away um, now I don't plan to fly it now just simply just want to set it up make sure it's um, you know pretty much ready to go whenever I need it um, so I'm just uh, doing a firmware update yes continue downloading And um, yeah, then I'm gonna continue setting it up. Hopefully we get it done, but it's like quarter to 11 now. Not too sure what I'm gonna do um, about the gym. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you guys know when this is done. Here we go, yeah? Yeah. All right, guys, so um, yeah, we finally left McDonald's now. It's like, 20 to 12 and um, had a good little go with the drone it is all um, set up now it's all updated which took a hell of a long time just to update like an hour just to update it um, and then we calibrated the compass on it that took a little bit of time uh, and then I had a little play around with it for like 10 20 minutes I learned how to obviously take off land um, spin around direct it a little bit but obviously I wasn't I'm gonna go miles away because it's pitch black and I'm in a big residential area and I was in McDonald's car park and that guy looked very drunk and he just nearly hit my car. So yeah, that's um, what it's like um, just north of London. Uh, but yeah, we're heading back to the hotel now. We're gonna go up in like four hours, four and a half hours or so. Um, we have an early flight tomorrow. Gonna to, uh, just do some packing, 
got to uh, pack all my gym things in my case. Uh, I did plan to go to the gym tonight, but I'm not going to. I might, if I feel like it, I might go Friday and Saturday. I was just going to go Friday, um, but we'll see how things are. Uh, if not, then tonight's workout, I'll just simply just skip it this week, which obviously isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys back when we're at the hotel. And I apologise for the hiccups. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Stop, Stop my hiccuping. Mouth shut. Okay, so I'm just doing some last minute packing right now. And I'm actually deciding on what I should travel in tomorrow. Now, tomorrow's day of travelling is going to be the best part of a whole day. So I'm pretty sure we have like a three or a four hour flight to Italy um, and then we have like a four or five hour layover and then we have like another 14 or 15 hour flight onto Tokyo in Japan then um, and then we have to stay up like all day so yeah I'm going to be very uncomfortable potentially um, now when I travel I usually like to wear as little clothes as possible because me personally I get very hot sweaty um, and I generally just don't feel nice. The first thing I do when I get to the hotel is have a shower. Um, now I normally just travel in some shorts, like some gym shorts, and then like a t-shirt, like a um, my trusty my protein t-shirt. But tomorrow I'm actually going to try travel in some kind of like combat shorts. Would you call these? I don't know. Like you know these these what? Chino shorts, I guess, but they're very loose fitting and comfortable. Um, and then like a nice light shirt. Um, so the good thing about a shirt is obviously you can roll the sleeves up if it gets hot. You can undo the buttons if it gets hot. And, and also when you're cold, when they turn the aircon on, on the aeroplane, then you can button it up, you can roll the sleeves down and you're good to go. But this is a nice light shirt, so you, you know, you can even see through it, so it should be pretty comfortable to travel in. But regardless, I know I'm going to get very hot and sweaty because when you're carrying around a suitcase and a rucksack and you have to walk through the airport like this, you know, it's just a given that you're going to get pretty uncomfortable. But here's what it is. See how this combination works out tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so it's like um, 1.30 a.m. now. We have to be up at like 4.30. Um, but we're not too concerned about the time on or how much sleep we're going to get tonight because Like I said tomorrow, it's going to be the best part of a whole day traveling So we're just going to try and sleep as much as possible on the flights um, So it's probably actually a good thing that we don't get a whole lot of sleep tonight um, Just as long as we you know get up on time and obviously make it through the airport and onto the plane um, So right now we're just watching some Hollyoaks, probably gonna watch some Netflix after and then we're just gonna go to sleep and we go to sleep. If we only get an hour of sleep then we only get an hour of sleep but like I said as long as we get up on time then you know all is good because like I said we can uh, catch up for any lost sleep tomorrow while we're on the flights. I'm gonna end this video here because we're gonna obviously go to sleep pretty soon but hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!